So, Baruch Hashem, here we are. Here we are in the center of town. Look, everybody's here again. Everybody, all the angels, all the angels are here again. We are old people already. I'm 42, 42, it's, a, it's an interesting age. Like the, one of the, one of the names of Hashem has 42 letters in it. Maybe it says something on me, maybe. Maybe this year I will be able to, to know Hashem in one of the, the aspects of one of His holy names. I wish, I hope, I want. How about you? Sometimes I feel like I'm 700 years old though. Every day is passing like crazy. You have so many things to do. You have so many cats to feed. How are you? You don't want to talk? You have so many mouths to feed. You have so many things to do every day and you, no matter how much you do, you're not accomplishing even 20%, 10% of what you really need to do. It's crazy, it's super wild. It's not real. When the mind is trapped in physicality, it doesn't matter how hard you work. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter. You always feel empty because the world is fooling you. The Yetzirah, the evil inclination, is always showing you the lacking of this world, the emptiness of this world. Because this world is hollow, this world is physical, and it's only a covering of, of the soul, of Hashem, of the Creator. And therefore, no matter which desires you have, no matter which options are being opened for you, no matter what you do, what you think you're about to accomplish. When you grab it, when you hold it, you find yourself empty-handed again. And then you need to set another goal and to desire another level. And in the end of the day, you go to sleep empty-handed when your mind is trapped in physicality. But when you realize that you have a soul and that the soul of the world is Hashem, and that Hashem is filling the world with His existence, with His present, with the fact that He is just simply here with us. When you realize that, so all the coverings does not have the same power, the same effect to pull you and to distract you from the real purpose of your life. And then you start breathing again. You come back to your true self and you breathe and you relax and you ask yourself, was it really so hard? Was it really so complex? Was I really so trapped? Here I was able to achieve this and here I was able to do that. And one thing, one realization takes you to the next. And then with time, you realize that you're accomplishing a huge amount of good deeds and wonderful actions. You're able to understand what it means to keep Torah and mitzvot. Means that you realize that the mitzvot are not only the physical actions, they are a mission that we are being sent to fulfill as the children of God, means as servants, means as messengers of Hashem, as His long hand into physical world, means that we are figures and beings of light that just been sent here to a mission in the physical world and the mitzvot, the obligations by a godly creator, by the one who made it all, the one who created the world, the one who 
covered his true self with physicality by understanding that we are his long arm to work and to keep the Torah mitzvot and to do good things then we realize that our mission is spiritual and not physical then we can understand that we are eternal spiritual beings of light that's supposed to spread love and good in this world in this lifetime and then no matter what you go through in the physical world it's all coverings for you and you are able to hold on tight to your soul to the illumination of your soul and no matter what you go through in life you have something that holds you tall and straight and happy complete with yourself and ready for the next stage for the next level and you're not being confused and lost from every obstacle or challenge in life that's where we are that's where I'm trying to uplift you to jump high to the next level to become one with the Almighty and to spread the light of Emunah in the world like there is no tomorrow only today look In the day of rain, even the coins in your pocket are being blessed. May Hashem bless us all as one. Amen. Yehudi, Hashem Korea.